Don't write comments in your code. The problem with every code comment is usually that it says what code is doing. This is all wrong. When you explain why the code is weird and what led to it, it's better. Maybe random jokes or swear words is always fun to see in the comments. A couple of years ago, I started working on a new project. I wanted to use a public function of some class, and there was a comment. If you are going to use this function, you are probably doing something wrong. I'm still not sure if it's a good comment or not, but at least it made me use another function instead of this one. Later, I refactored that class and removed that comment. In my opinion, a comment in the code usually signals that there is a problem with the code itself. It's always better to simplify a code instead of just writing a comment. Let me show you a code example. I write in Scala, by the way, but I guess it won't be a problem for you to read this code. Let's say there is a code that postpones a job after a counter reaches 10. It's not really clear what 10 is. So let's add a comment. Postpone the job after 10 retries. Now it looks much more clear what this code does. Or we can make it better and introduce a constant that gives a context. So now this code looks more like a sentence in English. As you see, there is no need in a comment anymore. If a code is too complex and it feels like it needs a comment, usually that's a sign that this code needs refactoring. As I have already said, it's always better to simplify instead of just writing a comment. Let's look at another example. What can we see here? There is some function that is supposed to process the sales data, whatever it means. It looks pretty complex. It seems like there is some business logic inside, and in general, it's not that easy to understand what this code does. So, it seems like it needs a comment. Let's add one. This function returns the normalized sales data based on average transaction value after applying discount logic. Now at least we know what this function does, but I still feel not really comfortable with this function. Another approach is that we can write the comments inside the function. For example, here we calculate the total revenue, then we apply some discount logic, here we calculate average transaction value, and finally we calculate normalized product sales frequencies. Now, when we finally understand what every part of this complex code does, we can already break it to smaller chunks. We can move every chunk to a function and give a self-explanatory name to every function. We can rename the main function too. As for me, you don't need a comment anymore, as it's already clear that our main function returns the map of normalized sales frequencies. It takes into consideration discounts, calculates total revenue and average transaction value, and then builds the map we need. It looks pretty clear, and if you want to dive deeper to the discount logic, for example, or any other logic, you may check the relevant private function. You can take it even further. We can add more clarity by introducing special types here. For example, we can introduce a type product instead of just using a string on the map. As you may see, all these improvements make the comment to be redundant. And the best thing is that whenever you change the code, you can refactor the function's name to reflect the amended logic. And what's the problem with comments? Comments lie. By the way, that's why I never read comments, mostly. When people make changes in the code, they usually don't update comments. And this leads to bugs. I won't be surprised to see some plugin for your ID soon that will probably flag some comments that don't match the code, but as for me, you know, it, it's, it's better not to write comments at all. I believe it's better to invest your time in writing high-quality code instead of just writing the comments. If you still want to write something besides the code, write the documentation. You'll have a much wider audience for your writings because developers usually read documentation. Disclaimer, they read documentation usually when there is nothing else a developer can do himself without reading documentation. <laughs> if comments just describe what the code does, documentation explains how you should use that code. Documentation describes what a class or API represents, how interfaces are expected to be used, for example, error conditions, uh, possible states, I don't know. Anyway, it will be much more helpful than any comment, trust me. But as I have already mentioned in the beginning of this video, there are still some cases where code comments might be useful. I think there are 
three cases like that. The first one and the most obvious is when a function is too complex and can't be refactored and you describe why it's so weird and give a little bit more context about it. But honestly, the better approach would be to write a proper unit test for that function that will explain the use case where the function should be used and how it should be used. But anyway, there are still two more cases when a comment might be justified. Once I was working with my friend and we had to use some rare algorithm that we found online. As I've mentioned before, most of the time I write in Scala. And the algorithm was in Python, so we had to translate this algorithm from Python to Scala to be able to use in our project. After our translation, the code looked even more weird than in the source code, so we thought it might be a good idea to leave a comment and to leave the link to the original source of the algorithm for the developers that will maintain this code in the future. And probably the last case when you would like to use comments in the code is when you want to comment out the existing code. I mean to remark it so the code won't be run. It happens sometimes when you are in the middle of the development process and you need to merge some temporary code to progress with your development. And the temporary code, I mean some code that might become obsolete in the nearest future. Anyway, this is a very rare case and I prefer not to do such uh, things uh, in my projects, to be honest. So as you may see, even if it feels like you need to write a comment, probably you don't have to do that. It sounds very obvious, but don't write comments, write better code. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button under this video and see you in the next one.